What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down below and hit it because at 3,300 subscribers, we're having a completely free raffle. So it's been a little bit of time since I last uploaded. I've been completely busy. I'm trying to do some other stuff, but I will always keep uploading videos. You guys know that. You guys have known that over the years. This video is going to be about my oil feed and oil return line for the turbo that I have. I have the GT35. Um, this kit is a $28 kit off eBay. It was $28.99. And this kit is gonna have to be modified a little bit to make it fit onto my turbo. So let's check out what we got for $28.99. So we got a baggie here. This is gonna be for my feed line. We got this guy. That's gonna be for my return line. This is gonna be for the return line. Return line. This is the feed line. For the return line. Another one for the return line. I got three of them, so they gave me these two, and they gave me a straight one just in case. So I'm gonna only get, I'm only gonna use two of those. Then we got this. This looks like it goes on the oil pan, but if you guys already know, I already have one on there. And then we got this. This is gonna be for the return line. It's gonna probably go on here. And that's pretty much it so let's get this opened up and take a look at why this kit doesn't fit on this turbo that I have over here I'm gonna get all these pieces opened up and out of the baggies I'm gonna leave this in the baggie. All right, so it looks like everything's here. Um, let's go check if one of these will fit on my car on the oil pan that's in the car right now that has the fitting to connect to this so I don't know if you guys remember or if I showed you guys this but I had put tape on here to cover this up so I wouldn't get any dirt or anything to go in there So here's this guy. Of course, I'm gonna have some Teflon tape on this. But this should screw right on there. Just like that. And it's gonna probably be facing something like that. So this is perfect. Let's go back and check out the other parts so we know that this one's good so that means all of these are good we're just gonna go ahead and put them in the box right here we're probably not gonna use this guy so I'm just gonna throw him in the box we don't need this hose I'm just gonna put it in the box for now all right so let me show you guys why this kit does not work with my GT35 turbo. So, as you guys know, this right here looks like a feed line, right? This right here is a feed line. This one is my return line. That's why the hole's so big. It's the return. So for my feed line, there's usually a gasket and it goes right on here and look at that 
it lines up perfect the holes line up in there perfect let me show you without the gasket it lines up perfect the other side this side this is supposed to be the return line that's what that would mean right well the problem is that this doesn't go on here and that in there doesn't look like a return line this is actually the feed line on the GT35 as you can look in there it's got the same thing as this right in there it's kind of flared out but it's in there so that means that that other hole that we were looking at that's on this side is the return line and the fitting that I have the plate that I have doesn't fit on there but this one fits on here perfect which is the feed line so now we know that we cannot use this feed line to go on there to connect my feed line so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this to the side and this is the return line that's why the holes way bigger and since this thing doesn't fit on here what I'm gonna have to do is drill those holes I already marked it with the marker I'm gonna have to drill those holes and then it's gonna fit on there perfect I used my gasket to mark the holes I lined it up really good and I marked the holes so now I just gotta drill those holes out and then I'll have my return line for my feed line on this side I actually went to the store to advance auto parts I went to AutoZone and I couldn't find what I needed and I ended up going to advance auto parts and I was able to rig something up that's gonna work so I can't just plug my feed into there actually it's this side so this side that has the threads it's the side that's gonna go into the back of the block the side that doesn't have the threads that the threads are on the inside is the one that's actually gonna plug in here so what I ended up doing is I got this part so this is a brake line and this brake line actually bolts in there perfectly hold on all right, so it bolts in there perfectly. And then I got this connection. Let me show you guys. I got these two connectors. These were both separate. And then they're gonna plug into this guy. If anybody is interested in buying this kit and getting these connections right here that I got, and getting the brake line I do have the part numbers right here I could give them to you right now I don't know this might help somebody in the future just so you guys don't waste time because believe me I ran around trying to figure this out and this is what I came up with so this brake line here's the part number I'm just gonna show it to you guys then this guy that goes to to this one is this right here here's the part number and then the top one that actually goes to the line itself to the braided line is this guy right here and there's your part number so hopefully this will help somebody but either way now that I explained 
why there's a brake line sticking out out of my turbo out of the feed the feed hole right here let's go ahead and start installing this into the car this piece came with the kit it's a four-way this also came with it a plug and then this piece this is my oil pressure sending unit that goes in the back of the engine and basically where this thing used to go is where all of this is going to go so these threads are actually going to replace those threads right there by going here and then we're going to put a plug on the side we're going to put this guy right here and then we're going to put our line our braided line for the feed right there and that's what we're going to steal the oil from and then this whole thing is actually going to plug i'm going to show you guys right now it's actually going to plug right here right on top of your oil filter right here that's where the old sending unit used to go so all we're doing is just stealing oil from here and feeding it over to the turbo that's all we're really doing so i'm gonna put some teflon tape on all these threads and get everything in there all right so i got everything in there it's starting to get a little bit dark outside so i'm gonna try to rush through this video but this is what it should look like so now we're gonna go ahead and head to the engine and install it over there so i went ahead and i installed it where i told you guys right here um i didn't record it because of time and it's getting dark outside but right there it sits in there perfect this hole is blocked this is gonna go to my uh, wire harness and then we are stealing oil for the turbo and the way how this ended up is actually pretty perfect because the turbo is gonna sit somewhere around here it's gonna go over the VTEC head and it's gonna sit right here somewhere so this turned out to be pretty good so now we have to deal with the return line i don't know if you guys remember this but this is what i used to mark my holes before i would drill remember i would push and it would create an indentation and then the drill would sit on there and give me the perfect hole so what i'm gonna do is just mark this right in the middle of the hole of the of the mark that I put on there I don't know if you guys can see those little marks but I'm going to drill those out and after that We'll go ahead and install it. So 
so I just finished drilling the holes and this is what it looks like it's not the prettiest holes but it will work lines up right there and I'm able to put a bolt through the top a bolt through the bottom so what I'm gonna do before I bolt this guy down right here is I am gonna take this guy and put him right into this one right here because later on it's gonna be hard to put that one in but I'm gonna do it now so this is what it looks like right now I'm gonna go ahead put the gasket underneath put my crush washers and put these guys in there all right so I didn't show on camera but I went ahead and I put those down in there and that's pretty much ready to go so off camera earlier today I loosened all these bolts that go around the housing and I clocked the turbo where I think it's gonna end up and then I went ahead and I loosened these guys up so I could spin the centerpiece around and that's how I ended up with my feet facing up because it was underneath before so everything's looking pretty good and then the next thing that we're gonna do is put one of these pipes under here like this it's gonna probably go out like that or something let me just go ahead and just put it on there just so you guys can have an idea remember this is for the return the oil return so that's kind of how that's gonna end up but I can't do anything with the return until the turbo is on that way I'll know exactly where I got to cut this hose we did get pretty far on this the only thing that's holding me back right now is the ARP head studs that I'm gonna need um, in the next two weeks I should have those if I do any other videos I'll go ahead and post them up but besides that um, as soon as we hit 3300 subscribers you guys already know that this raffle is gonna take place so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys here because it's pretty late right now. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.